Welcome to Revlog again. Where again, where <laughs> Pastor Aaron is Thank nice you. and warm. I am and Pastor Brian is being a diva this morning. <laughs> little bit, little bit. I'm just cold. Wow. He, he was he came in all bundled up with a I scarf and a to, coat. We had to. The, we had to. The tell, director told me to <laughs> take it off. For, get rid of that for filming. He was he was bundled up. Um, Are you okay? I'm. You know, I'm do we need to get you some hot chocolate? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> An Afghan? A Snuggie, maybe. I'm it's kind of what you look like when you first came in today. I'm good. I'm nice and warm. You, you nice and warm? We, I we am ready happy. to go? I like that, that sweater. Thank you. That's, that's nice. All right. Well, today we're uh, at the end of John 18. This is Pilate and Jesus. Um, working through one of the great questions of our day. Oh, man. What is, what is truth? So, Aaron, you want to help us get started here? Well, I mean, I think much has been said about this, but I just, you know, the, the, the kind of postmodern man feels like we've kind of come to this, you know, what question everything. What is reality? What is truth? And the, the honest answer is, Pilate beat us there by 2,000 years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, you know, the whole relativistic I, uh, construct that, you know, it, what's truth for you is truth for you and, and different, different. And, you know, Pilate, Pilate was there way before, you know, any modern <laughs> society. But just, just that Jesus proposing all of this, that his kingdom is not of this world, that, right. that when you when you're looking at just the economy of, of God and the economy of man, just how Jesus has always been about the things of his father. And when you try and lay over government structure or you know, these things or try and make it make sense in your mind, it, it's, there are things that just aren't going to jive. And so how Jesus has stayed true to that and, and Pilate, you know, is... Is trying his best to, to to wrap his brain around it, but you also see him trapped in this this political machination of the day. That you know, when confronted with somebody who's pure and good and righteous and a mob, you, what do you do? And and you, you know, Pilate here chooses the latter. He he chooses to go the the route that's going to cause him the least amount of of right. political strife and struggle. Even though you know he tries to give an out, he tries to to try. Yeah, I mean, he said Jesus is innocent. Yeah, but but he didn't follow through on it. And yeah, so so what what good is that? Right. I mean, to stand up there. I mean, you, you don't you don't lose blame just because you know. Well, you know, I don't see anything wrong, but I'm going to follow through just to make you happy. And mm. and so I that may be worse. Yeah, it, it, that that it's it's just that how fickle are we? You know, in our mm. convictions, right? Yeah, and and I see Jesus in this way, comparing really the the armies of this world. Um, you know, I, I picture the verses: some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, and and Pilate certainly would have been in that vein. Um, and Jesus is saying that's not even what we're talking about. Right? We're 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 moving beyond that to chariots of fire yeah. and angel armies. It's and a really good soundtrack. You. <laughs> Was it? Yes. <laughs> Vangelis. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is what Jesus is saying is reality. And whatever political things you've got going on this earth is nothing in comparison to what I have in yeah. heaven. Right? It's a, it's a beautiful picture for Just, us. And it's incredible to think that the, the calm with which Jesus answers, I mean, we're, mm -hmm. you know, we're reading into this a little bit because we, right. as, as yeah. the scene is set by, by John, but, but that he's not rising to the level of the just – noise that that surrounds right. him. Jesus is just he's steady, he's he's true. And just saying this is the truth. Yeah. Right? You can take it or leave it, but just here's the truth in reality mm -hmm. as yeah. it stands. Mm -hmm. Brian, what was your reading of this text? This is this is a meeting of the the all the power or somebody representing all the power of Rome. Right. And Which it by and large is the earthly power, right? right. That, that right. is the sort of global powerhouse at right. the time. Rome meets God, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, this, this is, Jesus wasn't representing the, the power of God. He is God. Right. And so there, there is the power of Rome meeting God. And 
it's a it's quite a sight to behold, you know. And you mentioned all the political machinations. I mean, Pilate for a little while here. Um, of course, the Gospels give us different facets of how all this went. You have you have good cop, bad cop, you know, with Pilate and Herod, Herod. you know. Uh, but but Pilate. And I've gone back and forth on this with this question, what is truth? Um, is Was he being cynical here or was he being more um, wistful? Mm-hmm. And I think, I think I, I've earlier in my life, I've liked this the wistful pilot. Like, you know, I've looked all my life and, you know, hmm. what is truth? And then he walks away, doesn't wait for an answer. But... Now I'm kind of more with the cynical pilot. I think he's you know? cynical. I think he is, yeah. and it, he can't he can't make heads or tails of this. You know, he says, uh, am, "Am I a Jew?" You know, it's a it's a. He says that with disdain. You know, um, and he he says, "Truth." I mean, here's somebody who really has arrived at a point in his life at which. There is no room for the transcendent. There is no room for uh, what is beautiful and for what is mm. good. It's just whatever keeps things going as they always have been in this in this man-made machine. It is. I, I love the picture that you just posed of Rome. And and Pilate being the representative of, and and God Himself, yeah. That that poor Pilate is is a tool, and yeah. and and he he really is just a tool at at <laughs> in, at, at at this point in the story, and it's yeah. it's you know unfortunate whatever kind of quality of a man he might have been, you know this it it, it is he is just the 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 capstone of that, and, and this this sheds light on that, you know the. He Jesus came into the world and lit up the world, and it shines this light on Pilate, and it reveals Pilate for, I mean, he may be, have been a, a good official, you know, as far as being able to get things done, but what it shines is who this man actually is, and he's somebody who has just ended up kind of a burned out cynic Mm -hmm. it seems well and i also i also think when when you're confronted with absolute good and beauty and wonder and you get the establishment if you will represented in pilot right that that we go whoa 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 whoa. just just slow your roll there a little bit that's a little too fantastic fanatical that's a good point and that we just we don't want to upset the apple cart the bureaucracy the whole machine is way too big for one man to to change you know so so would you consider just lightening this up yeah and and i just i see so much of our society that that we are just inexorably just kind of moving to darkness and you know we're, when we're confronted with truth and light and beauty we're just like oh, we can't stop this machine so mm-hmm. so just get out of the way and that's what we do often and and, and there were these glimmers of mm-hmm. of um, perhaps some vestige of hope you know pilot's wife right uh, mm-hmm. at one point right. sent a note to him saying get get away from this y- yeah this is you this is more than than you've ever faced before. You know, I've I've suffered much in a dream today yep. because of him. She said, um, and so uh, this is. I, I love what what you said, Aaron, about um, the whole weight of everything already coming down, um, and in the end, it, it was it was saying. I've I've got to bow the knee to mm-hmm. the machine mm-hmm. instead of dis- trying to explore more of what is here. Yeah, uh, I, I can't I can't afford yeah, to it, stop and do that. Yeah, I think it's interesting that in this moment, and if the story ended here, it seems as though if the Roman machine has won. Yeah. And right. as in complete control of the mm-hmm. situation, um, all the way up until Saturday. 
Um, it, yeah. it still right. looks like the Roman machine has won this battle and is in control. Mm-hmm. Um, that Jesus Christ has submitted himself to that authority in that way, right. and it looks as though they have won. But but we know there's more to the story than that. Yeah. Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and and okay, all right, that's all. <laughs> This is a fit. You want to? You, you have no, a rebuttal to I, I that? Have, no, yeah. I have a. <laughs> what is Sunday? Uh, no, I, I do. It was. It was a question, and I'll just save it for question. Save it, time. Well, let's come to Aaron's question first. Yeah. So, what's your question of well, this text? Well, it, it just putting ourselves in the position of Pilate, because let's be honest. You know, at some point, we are going to be faced with a choice to choose Jesus or choose the world, um, and and the world is clamoring for us. You know, whatever it may be, it may be. It, it, it obviously, it's not going to be this consequential, <laughs> but but there is going to be a time when we are to choose right or to choose easy, and. You know, you've got the crowd outside screaming. You've got so much of society telling you one way. You know, what is truth? You know, what what's the big deal if if you do it this way, if you compromise here? And are we willing to go, you know what? It's just it's just easier if we just, you know, just and you know, we'll deal with this this religion thing, we'll deal with this faith thing, we'll deal with this Jesus in a different way later. Mm-hmm. Um, because we are going to be crushed by by the 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 system. We can't, you know. Um, our glory is going to come after, you know, if, if for whatever reason, you know, we stand up to the, the machine, likely it's going to roll over us and, you know, our faith in Jesus will be rewarded later, Mm -hmm. but, you know, it it won't end in the kind of, you know, resurrection glory that, that Jesus had, but, but it's, it's, are we willing, am I willing to, to, to face truth as it is capital T truth and say, you know what, I'm just not going to bend and and let what happens happens. Yeah, I, I, that's right. I, I, I do want to say, uh, as an eternal optimist, occasionally there are rare exceptions to that. You think Daniel? Yeah. Right. He he overcomes that on some level. Joseph. Um, their what brackets. is optimism? <laughs> you know, they're 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 brought through on the other side of the machine. Um, with victory on this side. Yeah, right? I, I, but, yeah but that's I, rare. That's I, not typically the case, right? Yeah, I, I paint a pretty bleak picture. You're right. Yeah. God, God does. You know, sometimes that will stem the tide, all for His glory, right? right. All for right. all, for, exactly. not for ours, but for His. Mm-hmm. But, but you know that we're not Jesus, right. and right. so you know we're not going to have the strength that that He. Yeah. You know, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So, Brian, what what was your question today for the of the text? What is truth is taken? Sorry. <laughs> You know, I did consider <laughs> asking that because it's the low-hanging fruit. But um, my, my question is, what do I say to the pilots mm-hmm. of today? Uh, and that doesn't, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I do that all the time. Uh, anyway. <laughs> no, it, what, how, how can... How can I speak to the machine, mm. I guess? And, and um, by implication, am I part of the machine? Mm-hmm. So I have to understand that, and I have to speak then, or I, I need to speak to the machine. How do I do that? Yeah, just disregard my question, and, and I think unpack his, because I think, Brian, you, you've got it, because we are going to have to speak to the machine, and how are we going to respond yeah. to it, and are we, do we find ourselves in the midst of it? I think mm. everything is right there. Mm. I think that's brilliant. Mm. Yeah, that's good, and we would love to hear your thoughts uh, on these questions, and uh, your opinion of uh, Pilate's attitude or heart uh, in these questions, if you would comment below.